Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Aries and Libra on Monday. The deck that I'm using today is called the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot. And, as always, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, the link is in the description. But, I'm going to uh, keep shuffling until I get eight cards. I'm going to go ahead and take these cards, actually. Just because I feel like... Like these cards are the ones that are meant to come out in your reading, especially this uh, Wheel of Fortune here. But your overall energy for right now, Aries, is the Queen of Wands. And whenever we see the Queen of Wands, uh, I usually jump towards fire signs. So that's Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So that tells me right off the bat that you guys are feeling within your element. Uh, I feel like now is a really good time for you guys to really start pursuing things that you, I'm getting, actually care about. I'm sort of getting this lingering energy that you uh, have invested into something that you don't necessarily care about. And as a result, you know, this, just looking at this Queen of Wands, you know, she's pissed. Um, she's not necessarily very happy here. And I feel like part of the reason why that is, is because the Queen of Wands, you know, she knows her worth. She knows what she, her value is. And I feel like you do too, Aries. It's just that I feel like for some reason or other, or another, you've had to make an investment in something and it hasn't quite worked out. And I'm getting that for some of you, that might be career. Um, for others of you, it might be love. And maybe for an even smaller group, it might be both. But I definitely feel that there's like, especially with this hanged man, sort of like the need to change. And I'm looking at this Queen of Pentacles, and it almost feels like it might be your mother. Um, and I think that what it is, is that these two queens are in competition right now. In the sense that... You know the the idea uh, the ideals of one queen needs to sort of overwrite the other kind of a thing, but I feel like in the past you weren't exactly um, owning up to all of your queen energy, and I feel like now you're sort of in your energy. I feel like for a lot of you, it, it might it may have felt like you suddenly grew up, or had like a burst of maturity, and I feel like as a result you're sort of having um, conflicts or discussions. I don't think it necessarily has to be a conflict. But there's definitely some kind of a change coming. And for some of you, it might have to do with your mother, because I also see this Ten of Pentacles. And I feel like in the past, in order to keep the peace, you've been sort of... I'm getting two different things for two different people here. I feel like in the past, you've had to sort of go along with everything your mother or some other figure in your life uh, was saying in order to keep this sort of happy home environment here with the Ten of Pentacles. But with this hanged man, it's sort of you need to reconsider those things because you need to be happy too. And I feel like you're stepping into your queen energy and now, you know, you're calling the shots too. So I definitely feel like there's a lot of things that are going on right now, and that's one of the aspects. Like, you guys have your plate very full right now. And sort of coming into your power is one of these things. Also, I'm looking at this Wheel of Fortune, and uh, it actually has the 12 signs on it. And at the very tippy top, it has Aries. So I feel like you guys are coming into a new cycle, right? Whenever I see the Wheel of Fortune, I always think about sort of a swing, almost like a pendulum, right? Or a pendulum, depending on how you pronounce that. Um, but the way I'm saying is that what comes up must go down. So when you get the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, it's almost like you're coming into an upswing. 
uh, when you get in the reverse, it's almost like you're coming down on a, coming into a downswing. And I, th I feel like right now you guys are cutting off a lot of loose ends from your old cycle. I'm looking at the animals that are on um, the Wheel of Fortune, right? And we have the monkey, we have what looks like a dog, and we have a snake. So I feel like with the dog comes sort of a loyalty, and I feel like you're, you're seeing loyalty in your life now. And also, you're getting rid of snakes, because if you look at the card, you know, the snakes are going down, the dogs are on the upswing, and then at the very top you have the monkey, which I feel like is you. For some of you, you may have been born in the year of the monkey, but I feel like I'm getting the expression monkey see, monkey do. So I feel like now you guys are very much letting go of that energy. You know, you don't want to feel like a monkey that's just copying what everyone else is saying or doing. You want to be your own self. You want to be very powerful, independent, um, individualistic. And that's what the sign of Libra, or sorry, Libra is your opposing sign, but that's what the sign of Aries is. It, Aries is the sign of self. Um, I feel like it, you've been taking on a lot of Libra qualities, and Libra likes to keep the peace. And I feel like with this Eight of Swords, that's sort of what it is. Um, you've been censoring yourself or keeping yourself under the wraps in order to maintain this Ten of Pentacles. And keep in mind that for some of you, this Ten of Pentacles may not be necessarily at home. It might, even though that's what the Ten of Pentacles is, I feel like it might be your sort of work home almost. You know how like people have like work wives or work husbands? Same thing, but like a work family and a work home in that metaphorical sense. And I feel like a lot of you guys are sort of trying not to stir the pot, but now it's at a point where you kind of have to. I'm also getting it for some of you, you might have, um, you, like, you might have been wary of beginning a relationship at your work, because I see the Two of Cups, right? And that's, I feel like, the other element that's here. The Two of Cups talks about soulmate energy, and whenever I see the Two of Cups, um, you know, I know that something powerful is coming your way. Also to note, um, in this Two of Cups, it's two men, so you guys might be in a same-sex relationship for some of you, um, regardless of gender. But I'm definitely getting that for some of you, there might be a coworker that you're interested in starting a relationship with and for professionalism or this, that, or the other, you haven't exactly pursued that. Or I'm getting that maybe for some of you, uh, your family might not necessarily approve of the person that you want to make a uh, begin a relationship with. Um, but whatever it is, I see you guys reaching out because you have the Page of Wands with the Two of Cups here. So I see you guys reaching out um, to this person who you believe is your soulmate, who you believe is very uh, much connected to you. And then sort of going from like left to right, you have the Five of Cups and then you have the Fool. To me, the Fool always has sort of very Aries energy, right? Because the Fool begins the journey and Aries begins the Zodiac, right? So to some extent or another, that's the energy I get. And if you look like this Fool is ready to just jump right off of, the, of this cliff because he doesn't care. He's the Fool. He's a little foolish, but... He knows what he wants, and I feel like that's the most important thing here. Like, people are seeing you this way, but what they're not really seeing is the fact that you are going to be happier, that this is what you want, um, that kind of an energy. And I feel like that's what people are seeing here with this Five of Cups, because they're. I feel like you're getting this a lot. Like, people that are saying, oh, but you've spent so much time on this, and I'm definitely getting that for some of you. It's like a career in college. Like, oh, you, you really wanted to be an architect, and, you know, you're on your third year of architect school or whatever, getting your bachelor's, and you're going to stop now, and you're just like, yeah. Because I, I feel like you guys have outgrown some element in your life. You know, I don't see, like, the tower or anything here. Um, so I definitely get that there... I, I have the feeling that there's going to be a change, but it's not going to be very tower-esque. It's going to be very soft and gentle for you. Um, 
I feel like there is going to be a little bit of heartbreak associated with this. And maybe heartbreak isn't the best word, but there is a little bit of, of a disappointment in the sense that you have these three cups, but you only get to keep two. Or rather, sorry, you have these five cups, but you only get to keep two and three spill over. But I feel like you know that. Like, that's a calculated risk that you've already made out in your head. And no amount of swaying or nagging or persuading or whatever from this Queen of Pentacles is going to change your mind. And I feel like you just went along with whatever they said in the past with this Eight of Swords just to keep the peace here in this Ten of Pentacles lifestyle. But... You've outgrown that now. You're ready to make your own decisions and be authentic to yourself here with this hanged man. And with this um, Wheel of Fortune, it feels like it's time. You know, the Wheel of Fortune often feels like a clock as well uh, with the 12 divisions of the circle. So I feel like there is a very strong element of divine timing. I also see the four seasons in the Wheel of Fortune. So it feels like you guys are definitely... Because I'm looking here at all the cards here, and they feel very summer, um, very fall. So I, f I think that sometime, depending on when you watch this video, sometime near, near summer or fall, you're gonna sort of change um, your outlook on what it is that you're doing. I know that there's semesters that begin in both summer and fall. So for those of you who are on a college route, uh definitely you know do something that you care about and I feel like fall may be very important to you especially because I'm looking at this queen of wands and she's surrounded by this fall-esque energy I did mention Libra earlier in the reading Libra is one of the signs that's in the fall but I think I think that you guys you know uh, I feel like you guys have a handle on what you want. And I feel like whatever it is that the outcome is, you're going to be happy with it because it's your outcome. But that was your reading for this time around, Aries. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or a comment because it really helps out the channel. And I personally really love to know if these readings resonate with you guys. But like I said before, I upload my new Aries videos on Mondays. Um, but in the meantime, you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings. And with that, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.